All right, let's roll Scorpio. Um, I was like doing making fig jam and I cut myself with new knives, so my apologies for all the, all the band-aids. Okay, this instant is the only time there is. So this is about being present, okay? I sort of, while I was getting uh, ready for you, something about shame or being shameless or something like that. Um, something that's going to be very like, uh, graphically exposed. Okay. That's going to be like, just like, you're going to be so shocked at what you're going to see that you're, or what you're going to find out or something like that, that you're not going to know how to react. It's sort of even kind of like taboo or status quo, unacceptable or something like that guide the illuminated path so you will be illuminated okay and you will be guided know that this also looks like a staff like a light of beam that you're being supported so very much supported by the divine beautiful this is for scorpio please help me grow my channel like share and subscribe i am a retired high school principal and have studied symbolism for you know over 25 years um, have, you know, traveled the world to get to a point where I could, you know, uh, help spirit, you know, I feel like I'm destined to, uh, be, a, a vessel or, um, communicator of spirit, source divine. So help me grow so I can get the message out. Time to go. Yeah. There's something that there's an ending of a cycle that you're going and you're running out of there. Okay. Uh, I think you're, you're healing. I think there's going to be a huge opportunity and much celebration. And I think you're ready. I think you've been, you know, in the dark for a long time and like in the forest, I think you've been divinely guided. Possibly a wolf is your totem pole, totem animal. This is also uh, very astute, uh, cleverness, smart, you know, resilient. So I think that that's, uh, you know, what's really helping you, um, something about this uh, this is a spirit guide as well this is part of your ancestors they have been with you all right and then here conflict and defeat yeah huge huge ending like you feel like like you you feel like time's running out right like there's been so much conflict so much defeat every you know where you live or where you're at you know you're sort of going through the shadows you feel like you're like going through hell or a dungeon so know that you're being divinely guided and this is just a way um you know, this is just an ending of a cycle that is very, very, very difficult for you, okay? That you're going to get it done. And it says here, material and spiritual prosperity. So that's where you're heading, okay? Even though you think you're heading down and leaving and it's going to be bad, you're really heading to spiritual uh, material and prosperity and then awareness. Oh my God, you are being, you are awakening. If you're not awoken, if you're awoken, then, um, you're leveling up. This is the crown chakra off the charts. Okay. Divinely, divinely protected. You can see things differently. This is a huge spiritual awakening. That's going to bring in much balance. It's going to bring in manifestation for you. This is full alignment 11 in numerology, divinely guided by, you know, Archangel, um, San Miguel, Saint Michael, um, just because it looks like he's a protector, so divinely protected, and this was all part of your karma and your destiny. All right, believe it or not, as painful as that looks, beautiful. You're gonna be so much happier. All right, you might also be taking a trip to Vegas. Very interesting. All right, get grounded and paths highly sensitive, connected with nature. So you're probably going to get grounded. You're fully aligning, all right? Uh, you're going through a major awakening. What can I say? Beautiful. You need one, another one for it to be 11-11. Here it is. It's the 10. Fully aligned. You're fully aligned. You're going to come into being, um, you know, merging into self. You might also come into a partnership, uh, date with destiny. This came out in one of my, I think in my, uh, Instagram, I wanted to come out to view. I mean, for the, you've gone, you've gone through it. You've, uh, you're also haunted by, by someone or something or demons, I think, or something like that come together so you're coming together with someone okay communication and then you're protecting your treasure so there's going to be like money coming in or something like that 
you're running into a like a, you're you're leaving something and going into like a beautiful partnership it was all destined might be dealing with a with a redhead soulmate yeah this is a soulmate that you're destined to be with realization yeah you have found the key to something it's a huge portal new beginnings uh crescent moon so uh waxing crescent yeah three much collaboration like you see the world in a whole different light now that you've gone through this awakening i think someone i think your guide i think you had a woman if you're a male okay with long black hair that was your guide and has been waiting for you. Oh, this is very interesting. That has been waiting for you to awaken. All right. Vice versa. If you're a female, maybe you've had a male that's, um, that has been waiting for you. But I feel like this is uh, uh, a guide, a physical guide as well, as well as ancestral. If this is a male is what I'm sensing. If you're a male, okay or male energy, this person has been waiting for you to awaken, all right? And they have been a, a, a guide. And not only that, but they're the ones that triggered you into this awakening and you can see things differently. Now you can see that this person, um, you know, is a soulmate. You might be running away from someone, okay? Into your destiny. There's been a lot of crying, lots of hurt this relationship that you're going into is going to be very different all right you're also getting grounded so you're grounding the relation you're grounding yourself and you're grounding the relationship this person this person that has been involved with you like long black hair or something like that um very stoic um very generous very like um this is very like a patient very yeah they've been very patient with you like very very patient okay and so they're waiting they've seen you go through this and they're here waiting for you to go through this so that way there can be a spiritual and material uh prosperity yin and yang fully balanced this is another two where did i see the two um i thought i had two and two maybe not so um coming in union coming to union with someone that's very balanced and that um that you're going to be very grounded with you might be an empath or this person is an empath uh and you're going to be grounding this energy finally you like you finally get it wow yeah victory i'm gonna get these victory door to spirit wow this is a huge reading and then blossom in abundance Wow, I'm speechless. Let's get one more. This person propelled you for the awakening like they catapulted you into an awakening. Huge. Absolutely huge. You're coming together. Like by, I don't know, August or, or September step up and lead yeah and then go wild full moon in leo having the courage capricorn wow and then forgive and keep on moving huge message wow absolutely wow okay this is for scorpio let's do your tarot i was guided to get this one which is, what is this called? The uh, Everyday Witch. It is so cute. Alrighty, so uh, please help me grow my channel. I also have Instagram at Mr. Bean because I am a teacher. If this resonates for you, please help me grow.
new beginning because you feel there hasn't been any truth, okay? And you're cutting that off. There might be some legality issues as well associated with a new beginning or some truth. You're unsticking yourself. There's no communication and no moving forward. Yeah, possibly with um, someone that you thought was stable and passionate. There's been a lot of gossip. There's no communication. You see this person in a very different light. Okay. Yeah, no stability, not happy. Huge tower moment in a family dynamic and something was brought to light. Something was clarified. There was a lot of people in the mix. Everybody, everybody was giving their two cents worth. Like three women, possibly like a sister, or um, like this is like for a female that was very like celibate and wasn't stable, possibly a wife. And this has to do with like a sister or uh, like a like a mother that were very involved in this breakup of this relationship that they didn't help. You're trying to heal and work through this heartache, okay? And you're not putting any more time into it after this tower moment. You were hugely, like, awoken. Like, this is a huge, like, epiphany that you got. Huge epiphany on truth. Like, huge epiphany. Wow. Huge, huge epiphany about a new beginning. Yeah, this is about not moving forward and not looking into the future with this person or whatever it is or whatever dynamic you're going in with right now. There was no victory. All right. Let's see. You're wanting to go off or something or... Someone that you thought you they had love for you, they do not and they weren't stable. This could be a mother figure, okay? Or the mother of your children or, uh, or the person has um, children. You're wanting to be independent. All right. Somebody that was coming in and out, possibly married, that doesn't want to be married or something like that found the courage to uh, walk away, but someone's coming back after like a no equal give and take. This can also mean that there was somebody involved that might have been a cancer or a fire sign that you thought was gonna be a new beginning and that wasn't and this person was from far away, okay, at a distance and you're waiting for them to come back. This is a huge burden for you, all right. You might be very confused about the past. You're not happy. You might, someone might be drinking a lot or you might be drinking. You're having nightmares about this relationship. It was a no-win situation. You're very regretful trying to balance this out, but you're very confused and in fear. It was very toxic. You were on the defensive. This was karma that played out. It's an ending. Yeah, of a huge betrayal and a huge burden. There's some truth that came out. Huge ending, something about collaboration. This was fated to happen. You're organizing all your stuff and you're leaving to heal. All right, you're no longer indecisive. You're cutting everything off, especially third party situations. This has to do with a higher commitment to family dynamic that you're sort of holding on to. But you're ready to cut the cords, wow. Yeah, you're ready to come out of like hermit mode or resting. They left you out in the cold. This isn't a wish fulfillment anymore. It's a family dynamic that maybe there's been like some cheating or deception. 
you have no love for this anymore and this partnership you're just trying to find some balance trying to manifest let's see what you're trying to manifest just peace um lots of lots of um lots of gossip yeah, there was something that was exposed, some some sort of lie, something that wasn't equal give and take, possibly a, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and you're moving forward. Yeah, this was karma that played out. Hope this helped, Scorpio, because I didn't understand it. I'm sure you did. Love and light.